turning to your um, question about the UK and uh, Bharat, again, we have a very long perspective, which is different to the perspective in this country. Our perspective, for anybody who is aware of history, is that we had millennia, maybe 13, 14,000 years of recorded history, of which 12,000 was wonderful. And then the last thousand years was actually the most traumatic of um, experiences that any civilization could go through. And of the last 300 years, a significant part of the trauma and the devastation that was caused was actually the responsibility of people from Great Britain, this island. And so that is like a shadow, which is oh, which sort of overshadows the relationship. Now, there's never been any acknowledgement. There has never been any understanding. I'm reminded of how Germany confronted its Holocaust with a very open and honest desire to move beyond it. And so having acknowledged it, Germany entered the um, company of civilized nations of honor and um, uh, integrity and moved forward. But the United Kingdom, Britain has never done that. What it did is it hid everything that it did. And so there is a difference there, a remarkable difference. And I view this as a, uh, a potential pothole on the roadmap, which has to be addressed. And it's a difficult thing to do when you have built your civilizational identity on the basis of being superior, of being naturally more civilized than the, uh, the, the naked heathen, to then acknowledge that in fact you were mistaken. The moment you acknowledge that, what you then have to do is to face the consequences. And that then means dismantling all of the uh, institutions which were created to promote and preserve a supremacist civilizational worldview. This is a very serious issue that has to be addressed. In India, we have um, a capacity to absorb um, apology, regret, you know, we're more than willing to embrace anybody who says, yeah, I got, I got it wrong. Can we move forward? In the past, we've been more than willing to embrace anybody who came forward, irrespective of whether they had a knife behind their back or whether they were actually genuinely friends. So we have the capacity to accept an apology and a recognition with grace. And I think slowly we're moving in the United Kingdom to the time when that apology and that expression of uh, remorse is going to be given. On that level, the civilizational to civilizational level, I think there is a wonderful opportunity. It's also worth remembering that most of the British population have no idea of their history. In schools, they're taught up until the Elizabethans and the Tudors and you know, Henry VIII, perhaps, if there is an enterprising teacher wanting to add a bit of color into the conversation. And then it leaps forward to the Second World War and perhaps the First World War. And even that's a very um, Eurocentric perspective. And so the, the, mass, the vast majority of the British people have no idea of the atrocities that were perpetrated in their name. In addition to that, they actually didn't benefit. Much of the money that was brought into the United Kingdom um, by people like Clive and so on, it was squirreled away into tax havens offshore in the remote parts of the world. So there is a an evolutionary step that uh, Britain needs to do in terms of its own population as well. Having set that all in as the context, the average Englishman, English person, is uh, oh, it, they're, they're very much like Punjabis. One of the reasons we get on so well here is they're very much like Punjabis. There is a directness, there is a driving forward energy, there's a creativity. And we have that in Bharat as well. So when those two dimensions can be made to work together, there is a, a wonderful opportunity for a 21st century, whereby not only do we catch up with the lost ground that was a thousand years of colonialism, we actually move forward into a 21st century, which is much, much more civilized and much, much more dharmic. There is a, I think there's a you know, much to be hopeful for. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Panditji, for sharing your thoughts on this very, very important subject. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit 
सी आई टी टी आई डॉट नेट धन्यवाद नमस्कार